When the Vod Creek began, they said that Zhang Zuilin was a bandit, a man who had come from nothing and would remain nothing, a scavenger born to prey upon better men. When he became governor of Fengqian province, they said that he was simply a fleeting opportunist, a man swept to and from power by the whims of fate. When he came to hold the three northeastern provinces in the hollow of his hand, they said that his armies would break against the Great Wall at Shanghai Gwen, where the mountains meet the sea. But Manchuria was no longer a backward frontier. Its cities had been transformed into great commercial centers, its newfound prosperity borne upon railroads stretching from Siberia to the Bohai Sea. In Fengqian, Zhang built the nation's greatest industrial enterprise, an arsenal from which poured rifles, machine guns, and thunderous artillery. Upon the windswept Manchurian plain, he rallied an army like no other in China, well paid, fed, and disciplined, equipped with all the modern means of war. And so, when he seized Beijing and his forces rolled across the North China plain, they then called him a tiger the Venerable Marshal of Mukden, the Grand Marshal of Fengqian, a rival to the Jade Marshal himself. Zhang had become one of the most powerful men in China, and suddenly his old critics were silent. Yet, even amid this moment of triumph, and against the odds that had so frequently been in his favor, Wu Peifu and the German Kaiser stole everything away. In a swift and decisive coup, Zhang's armies around Beijing were crushed and then driven back beyond the Great Wall. Even the greatest army can be beaten and maneuver. Every attempt to turn the tide failed. In the years since, Zhang has built his three northeastern provinces, the Fengqian government, into the last bastion of China's Republican dream a place where the whole of China can be reclaimed from the grips of German imperialism and Manchu tyranny. Yet, his assembly in Shenyang is corrupt and divided, his style of leadership more autocratic than presidential. In Beijing, they call Zhang a Japanese puppet, as Tokyo steadily tightens its grip on his economy. They say that by fortifying the Northeast and waiting for the right opportunity, Zhang's men are simply digging their own graves. But then, this might sound familiar. Zhang Zuilin is a man of peerless ambition. Despite the stark realities of Qing strength and Japanese power, his aim has never wavered. One day, Beijing may be his again, and from there, the whole of China. Kaiser Cat Cinema needs you. Back the attack. Share our content or dash over to our alt history webshop. Even trapped in lockdown, our offensive does not cease. Thanks to all our webshop customers and patron backers who continue to back the attack. This month, we are welcoming more new patrons than ever. Rogan, Martin Svensson, Matt Davies, Kerncare 13, Kicker. <coughs> they are joining our top backers, Daniel Smith, Davo, Kingfish58, Stefan Gunnarsson, Alex Lepage, Jill Bates, and our 52 other patrons, and thousands of webshop customers. Feel free to join our patron program if you would like to have your portrait appear as a cameo character in our upcoming Divided States animatic. Thanks for everything, and see you for the next one, cats.